Hello guys, welcome to Eli's Academic and this is your self-learning portal. For those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe and please press the bell button to receive more videos. In this lesson, I will show you how to integrate the definite integral. As you can see, the given example here is come up with three different type of function. The first function is represent the polynomial function. The second is, is a fraction and third is exponential function. As you can see that the second term and third term has a special case and we have that a special type of integration we have to carry out. Look at that, the second terms. The second terms is easily can be integrate. When I think one over x, dx, and this is, can be written as ln in the modal signs, the x inside, plus c. As well for the case in the exponential function, say the coefficient value of any variables, and we can say that into ax dx, and this is, can be integrate by writing into ax over a. The coefficient of x is always come at the denominators. So it is plus c. So the two information is very important in order to integrate uh, this type of problems. All right, now we can do a step-by-step -step approach in order to solve this function. So integrate the boundary, which is one to two, and the function is given as it is. So first, your step one, you need to integrate each every terms. The first term is a polynomial function, is x squared. So you can use that standard integration as what we learned in last lesson. You can, you can write it on straight away, the function is x cubed over three, which is two plus one over two plus one is become an x power of three over three. And second function is, is exactly as this, what I mentioned just now. So this is, would be ln x in the modulus and plus into two x. So this is, can be integrate into two x over two. And this is subject to find that the definite integral uh, from one to two. So you can write the boundaries. Now, the next step is we need to evaluate that the function which is we have integrated. So by substituting the two into this function, so we get eight over three plus substitute the two inside that function of x. So we got ln two plus, and this is two times x. So you substitute x into it, we get a four. So into four over two. So this is your first section. And then you need to subtract with, after substitute one into that, the function. So minus, put another square bracket again. So plug that one into this function. So you get one over third plus ln Substitute one into the x, you get ln x is always zero, so it's just zero plus, and then substitute one into this the exponential function, you get into two over two. All right. The next step is you need to simplify it. As we know, uh, this is eight over three minus one over third, so this is can easily can be uh, use that calculator or you can do it manually. So it seems that the denominator at the same value. So eight minus one, you get a seven. So seven over three. And then the ln function minus zero, you still get the main ln two. And this is, will be one over two into four minus one over two into square all right so you can leave it dancers as it is or even you can simplify it you can simplify this further to by writing 7 over 3 plus 
ln2 plus, you just find the common factors of these two terms, the terms 3 and term 4, so which is 1 over 2, in bracket, into 4 minus into 2. So this would be your last answer. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you liked this video, and I will see you in the next videos.